Here are five success factors for making the transition from Salesforce CRM to HubSpot CRM go as smooth as possible. Number one, remember your create dates. Have a strategy for retaining all the create dates from your original records in Salesforce when you migrate them to HubSpot. Otherwise, your reports in HubSpot after you migrate will make no sense. Number two, have a plan for the order of operations when you migrate data to HubSpot. You have to think which objects and records to put first in the system and which go after and in what order exactly. Think about native objects, think about custom objects. They go in a certain way in, otherwise you're going to have a mess. Number three, have a pre-flight plan, that's the name we use for a step-by-step -step plan for things to happen before, during, and immediately after the go-live date. For example, before going live, you need to have all your users and teams structured correctly in HubSpot with the right permissions assigned to them. Otherwise, users on the day of go-live will see the wrong data and you don't want that. But any improvements to existing processes, for example, you want to add a notification when a new lead comes in, you can defer that to after go-live. So keep the critical path strict and make detailed notes of anything that can wait until after the go live. Number four, you need to wrap your head around the nuances of how HubSpot manages permissions versus how you're used to that happening in Salesforce. For example, in the HubSpot admin interface, there are different places where permissions are managed. So you have one place where you set permissions for record access, but then the creation of certain objects are controlled elsewhere. So unless you know exactly where all these different types of permissions are, you might hit go live day with users unable to do what they expect to be able to do, and that's a bad thing. Last but not least, number five, simplify exaggerated flows. The HubSpot automation engine is so powerful and it gives you an excellent chance to revisit all your complexities in your five year long set of processes and simplify them for a much easier time onwards for your operations team. Let's be honest, most probably you don't need all the flows that you currently run in Salesforce. Probably a lot of them were created years ago by people who no longer work at the company and nobody except them knew what these flows are for. But you didn't turn them off ever because you weren't sure what would be the impact. A migration is an excellent time to reconsider those and simplify the existing processes because the HubSpot automation engine is awesome enough to handle everything.